Looks like Bat's been busy. Quickly, into the temple. That machine. Bat must have brought it up here. Let's take a look. This machine, it almost looks like some kind of weapon. Bat must be trying to blast a hole in the barrier. We have to shut this thing down. No! What have you done? It's the Bat. Get it. Thank <laughs> you. 
What have you done? Yes, I sabotaged the lava tube and the steam vents, but I did it for good reason. My father wants to get his heart back. I don't want him to. I've been working in secret to do everything I can to foil spider scheme, but now he's gotten the cabal to take Malori, and it's too late. Yes, I sabotaged the lava tube and the steam vents, but I did it for good reason. My father wants to get his heart back. I don't want him to. I've been working in secret to do everything I can to foil Spider's scheme, but now he's gotten the cabal to take Malori, and it's too late. My plan was to capture Malori when she came to break the chain. I had to make sure she attacked this chain, so I spread chaos all over Athenor. The strife between the dwarves was unfortunate, but it weakened the temple's defenses and made it too easy of a target to pass up. Unfortunate? These dwarves could have been wiped out, all for your little power play. I weighed their good against the good of the entire spiral. It's a choice I'd make again, but now things are worse. Athenor is unmoored from the Chaos Heart. Without the Paradox Chain to anchor it, the island will spin and the lava will destroy everything. But I accounted for this. I have a plan. Generating steady jets of steam will keep Athenor in place. From the steam vents, I'll go tell the fire dwarves to boost production. Can you warn the ice dwarves in time? Leave that to me. Bring the fire dwarf leaders to the surface using your stream portal. Wizard, come on! I have another way out. It's a long way up, but we'll get there. chain is broken, but this pig says there is a way to stop it. There is. We can still save Athenor. Don't listen to him! This is bad! The son of Spider! He broke the chain! You've lived apart from your kin too long. Fear and suspicion have made you as cold as all this ice. Trust can save you, if you let it. Reverse the flow of water through the pipes and close the steam vents. The pressure will increase. Then drill holes in the steam pipes around the perimeter, facing outward. The steam jets will hold Athenor in place. I see your idea. Yes, that could work. But without the steam vents, what will save us from the ice elementals? You'll have to drill holes directly to the core and run metal rods through them to make heating coils. It will take time, but the Fire Dwarves can help defend you until it's done. You can save Athenor if you work together. He's right. It'll work. My people will help, and will stand by you to keep the Ice Elementals at bay. We welcome your help, Cosm. I regret the errors of the past, and hope this begins a new era for our people. Let the work begin at once. No! Don't tell me you've fallen for this! It's all lies! Fire dwarves and wizards cannot be trusted! No, it is you who cannot be trusted. You are removed from this council. Bat! You're helping the dwarves! Have you come over to Ravenside? I have never met Grandmother Raven, 
All I know is that the spiral must be saved. Wizard, go to your pod. I'll meet you there and tell you more. It's about time you came back. Medulla has the upper hand. He can manipulate Malori into breaking the chains, but that's not all. Medulla stole the idea for weaponizing Malori's essence out of my mind. If he builds an essence cannon and attaches her to it, the game is up. An essence cannon would let him blast the chains from anywhere. It's not enough to defend the chains now. We have to take the fight to Medulla. I know where Malori is. I wasn't strong enough to break in on my own, but I'm not on my own anymore. There's still time to stop Medulla before he builds his weapon, but we've got to travel into the ether. Can you do this? We can, but we must return to our home base on Ariel to do so. This stream portal will take us there. Let's go then, quickly. It's time to tell you the rest of my plan. We must stop Medulla before he can build his own essence cannon. Spark, configure a pod to stream us to Medulla's hidden fortress. It won't be easy. Medulla's hiding inside Zipidius, the biggest sky squid in Imperia. The lair is built into the bowels of the beast. Impossible. Zipidius is smaller than the sky islands of Imperia. I cannot target the Cyclabe on such a narrow point. Additionally, Sapidius is in constant motion. Our pod will miss its target, and we will be obliterated in the ether storms. Then we can make us the target. We can stream the pod into a pocket of moderate safety within Sapidius's general area. From that position, we simply need to attract the giant soaring cephalopod. Sapidius has to eat something. We can be that something. Perhaps that alluring angler, Belantis, knows what kind of food sky squids find most appetizing. Can't say I love the idea, but I've got nothing better. Wizard, go ask this Volantis for advice on luring sky squids. 